Hi everyone, welcome back to yet another video in Tech VID. Today we'll be seeing a, about a tool called BetterCap. This tool is actually used to uh, perform a man in the middle attack. So what does this man in the middle attack actually mean? So as you could see here, there's a client and there's a server or a web application. To access any data in the internet or when we search anything in the internet, we first actually send a request to the server or the web application and it responds and it gives a response and that's how we uh, get to see uh, the data we receive or whatever on our screen. But so in the man in the middle attack, what happens is that the attacker uh, sits in the middle between this uh, a user or the client and the uh, server and um, to the client he poses himself as the server and to the server he poses himself as a client so all the requests from the client first goes to, uh, goes to the attacker because here to the client is acting as a server He's, and to the server since he acts as a client all the requests act, uh, to the server actually uh, go from him this is how the man in the middle attacks works all uh, so here the attacker could actually tap the traffic and uh, uh, see every request we send to the server and either he could just sit around and be watching the tra uh, monitoring our traffic or he could actually take up the request and uh, might manipulate them to this uh, and send it to the server so this is so uh, to actually perform this, uh, I'll be using Kali Linux in VirtualBox. So before we go any further with the Kali Linux, uh, we first have to make a slight change in the VirtualBox settings. That is, um, first go to settings and then networks here it is in NAT attached to NAT you have to just change it to a bridged adapter well the reason you have to do is that to actually um, make this virtual box as a kind of like a separate independent machine in the network so what I'm actually doing here is that I will be attacking my Windows system uh, using my Kali Linux I'll be performing the man in the middle attack using my Kali Linux on my Windows system. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, open your terminal and first type the command sudo apt hyphen get update to update all your packages. This might take some time. Yeah, it's over. So after that, BetaCap has many versions. Uh, the latest is actually version 2, but it's not quite stable. So if you just um, directly install it, you will be getting the version 2, which I would not recommend. It's the best we go for the version 1.6.2, uh, which is the stable version right now. So for that, you just have to type gem in install BetaCap. I've already ha I already installed BetaCap, so I already have it here. We could check the version by like this: BetaCap hyphen V. And that's it. That's my BetaCap version 1.6.2. So now, first let's check the IP address of um, our Kali. IF config. Uh, so this is our IP address 192.168.26, which is in Ethernet 0. This is where we will be starting our um, better uh, man in the middle attack. So for that, uh, for us to start the attack, we first need to know the target's IP address. So let's go to our command prompt and check the IP address of Windows. IP config here you could see 192.168.27 
this is the IP address of my Windows system. So let's go back here. So to actually start the attack, you first have to type this command that is beta cap hyphen capital I which means interface here. The interface here is the Ethernet 0. So ETH0 ETH0 hyphen capital X. Well, this capital X means that it actually enables the flag called sniffer. So, sniffer means that we are actually, you know, monitoring the traffic or the requests of uh, the target. So, that's it. Uh, no, hyphen, sorry, hyphen capital T, which is the target. Now, here we have to give the target's IP address, which is 192.168.2.7. We could give uh, more than uh, uh, one target like th here since I'm only give, uh, doing it this on Windows, you could give it for multiple targets as well. Space hyphen hyphen sniffer which is what I said about space ARP. This ARP is a protocol since we are actually doing it in the local area network. So we have to we are using the app which is the address resolution protocol if it is if the target is not in the same uh, network then we will be using uh, dns dns inside instead of arp space hyphen hyphen proxy hyphen http http which uh, is to tap the traffic in with the HTTP and hyphen hyphen proxy um, hyphen HTTPS. So yeah, that's it. So now we can um, launch the attack. Just click on enter. So yeah, the, uh, it started. So now what I'm going to do is just open uh, my browser now I, if I go and check out it already showed here that I actually opened the Google Chrome browser so whatever the target is doing I'll be actually getting everything here I, I just opened the Google browser and here it shows it this is how the sniffing actually works so uh, show in a better way I am um, uh, I opened this website called uh, testphp.vallabweb.com this website is actually created uh, for us so that we could test out all these uh, attacks it was a website which was uh, intentionally created with vulnerabilities so that we could test all our attacks so you don't need any prior permissions uh, to launch an attack on this website. I'll, I'll actually provide a link of this website in the description. So I open this website and now in the search, I'll be just typing something random like ABCD or something like that and click on go. That's it. So and I'll go to uh, Carly again and here you'll see that see everything that I typed came over like the host the host website and um, you could see here this what did I search for and I press the go button everything everything I did just came out here here it was just a search box but what if it was a username and a password it it we would it would obviously be exposed and we would we would have no idea about it. So we are showing this to you just so that you could understand what is going on and to some extent you could actually protect your privacy. So thank you so much for watching and please do like and subscribe to our channel.